Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Klez worm, specifically the E variant of Klez. Now this worm surfaced in October of 2001 and quickly spread to many PCs due to its interesting email messages. Unfortunately I can't get the email payload to work, but we'll go over what it says. We'll go ahead and run it. As you can see, it's probably not a legit program considering the executable is klez.exe and it's telling us that qtmf181.exe does not have enough memory to start. So while it displays that error message, it drops its main files to the Windows system directory and begins its mass mailing routine. Now this routine selects uh, different phrases from a list of dozens of different phrases that it has, like this is a very humor game, I wrote it myself, I thought you would like it, and attaches itself and one random file from the system to the email. So, whenever you get an email from a machine infected by Klez, it would look like something, some weird Englishy message, and then you'd have the Klez worm attached to it, as well as some other random file. So, your personal documents might get leaked onto the internet because Klez decided to pick it up and send it over to your friends and contacts. So, kind of annoying. Might be devastating, probably not devastating, but could be dangerous. So it activates its payload whenever the month is odd and the day is 6 and it activates its super payload whenever it's July or January 6th of any year. Now when it's this date it checks the date all the time and when it is July 6th or January 6th or any other 6th on an odd month it starts to overwrite files and they're not recoverable you have to restore them from backups. So since it is July 6th, we will see that happening very shortly. So we will wait for that payload to come up and then we'll see what it did. Alright, you can't see it, but now the worm is accessing the hard drive and altering as many files as it can get its hands on. The uh, hard drive write indicator light is on full time, it's not pausing. As you can see, we have a marked slowdown in opening various folders like my computer as you see it takes a few seconds to open up and this is running on a solid state drive so it really shouldn't be taking that long try to open auto execute.bat c colon slash auto execute.bat of device attached to the system is not functioning that doesn't sound good device attached to the system is not functioning slow loading Taken forever. Not a valid Win32 dot application. Let's see. Bubbles dot BMP is not a valid Win32 application. I would hope not. But this just goes to show how completely screwed this is. Double clicking takes forever. Extreme slowdown. So HTM files are not valid Win32 application. Uh, this is pretty much toast. Uh, I can't do anything. Can we click start? Very slowly, yes. All of our files are now the default. We don't know what this is. Picture. Microsoft Word. The object refers to has been removed or is unaccessible. Huh. That sounds bad. Calculator, we need you. Well, it's taking forever to type in. Calc is not a valid Win32 application. Alright, we're gonna try and restart. Taking forever. There it goes. And this is about as far as we're gonna get. Uh, the files are still there, their names are still there, but it just tried restarting again as you can see. The file names are still there, so it's trying to load them, but they're all corrupted, so it can't be loaded. So Klez is quite evil, very destructive. And that's really about it. Thanks for watching.